Hello, welcome. Today we're playing Menu. <laughs> it's not actually called Menu. I forget the name of the game. I downloaded it a few days ago, actually. And, uh, and when I went to the file, it said New Game. <laughs> That's it. That's all I know. New Game. It's a new game. <laughs> but here's the actual title. It'll be on screen now. I'll have the link in the description if you like it. I know nothing about this game. Nothing at all. So, uh... Let's find out what it's about. What 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 it's about. Oh, that's right. The game's called Countryside 1999. I'm pretty sure I remember now. Countryside 1999. One construction worker quit his job after encountering what he believed was a strange creature. An old Victorian house had been sitting vacant for years. So crews came in to begin demolishing it to make way for a new building. However, it was not long after the demolition started that one of the crewmen spotted a strange creature inside the building. The rest is just... Just controls. Play tape! Oh lord, that is loud. Holy shit. Uh, it's a very odd aspect ratio. Uh... But hey! <laughs> I like it. God damn. Holy shit, this is... Well, okay, it's very easy to get lost. To give you some context on how loud it is. In Adobe Premiere, I'm probably... I'm probably gonna have to lower it by like 25 decibels. So it doesn't blow your eardrums out. Strange creature, eh? What should be like a shitty owl or something? Can I run? Can I crouch? Yeah, I, I guess not. So if something starts chasing us, I guess we're dead. What's the sandbags? Hello, hello. What might you be? Can I not? I'm okay. I, I can go here. It's an excavator. Bulldozer, 2020. Oh, DH 2020. Okay. I was gonna say, I thought we are in, uh, I thought we are in 1999. What happened, buddy? Oh, we're going all right. Creature or ghost? I don't remember. What is this? Can I pick up? No, I cannot. It is a... Oh, it's a really creepy vibe. Vibe? Vibe. Like, genuinely a really creepy vibe I'm getting from, uh... Like... I'm more spooked from this... ...than I am from any of the horror games I've played so far. Holy shit. The thing is, when you're watching, you're not gonna get the same vibe. Like, you're not gonna feel... The, the tension that you get from this sort of atmosphere, from the old grainy VHS and uh... It said controls, I probably should have read it, so I would know how to open the fucking door. Maybe it might be F. I was pressing E, it might be F. In some games it's F. I think what I hear about the woods most is the spiders. Last person alive here is knocking. Oh, wait a minute. That's what I meant by red text. The last person alive will hear knocking. What if you're the only person here? This is fucking terrifying. Oh no! Why is it open? <laughs> oh my fuck. Why did I choose to play this? Built 1937. Oh my fucking Christ. You're telling me that's not creepy. If you are not scared, fucking go play this game. The link is in the description. Go play it. Don't watch the rest of it. Play it and then come back. Laughing at me. <laughs> What's he scared of? 
I don't know, buddy. That fucking lamp. That actually scared me. I'm not gonna lie. You know what it is? Is the VHS aspect of it. It looks fucking lifelike. And the camera movement isn't too sudden to be, like, super unrealistic. Who let the keys out? Mmm. 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 -mm. Nope. Nope. Absolutely fucking not. What's the world of meds? Absa fucking lootly not, my friend. I am not happy with this. I I should have go play Minecraft. Why don't we ever play anything fucking wholesome? We whoa! That lamp! That lamp is scary, dude. I'm so on the edge on on the edge. Oh no my god, look, it's a little bird! Oh my god! Why would you decide to come here at night as well, dude? What are you fucking stupid? It's red text. Come on, look, hold on. Hold for three seconds till red text disappears. You need to be at the correct distance from it. Pretty close. It works when the camera don't zoom. I am as close as I could get. Dude, could you just work with me? I want to finish the game. Come on. Don't you? Eh, eh, me, you little fucking... Don't start humming. Yeah? I'm trying to fucking figure out this text problem now. Oh no, there might be a different text. Stop singing. Stop. You're not good at it. You're fucking trash at singing. Why are you singing? Stop. Yeah? Thank you. Lord. Fucking amateurs. Oh, every time I look at that fucking hallway. Can the text just work? Work with me. Please work with me. I'm as close as I could physically get to the text. Okay. I figured it out. You know how it says zoom and interact for right mouse button? Yeah, you had to interact with the text. You had to hold for three seconds. Why? Why? Could you not have... There's two buttons. Come on, game. What should that door be open now? I'm ready for a spook. I'm ready. Give it to me. Is that outside? Okay. Um. All right. Remember when I said I'm ready for it? I'm not. I'm now very much not ready for it. I'd rather be watching Paranormal Activity. I'd rather be watching anything. To be honest, Paranormal Activity is funny. That's why I'd rather watch it. Hell, oh. How funny, ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. I was a demonic duck. What the fuck was that, dude? I'm brave. I'm not brave. What's in my way? This stupid thing. What? Why can't I? The cardboard box is stopping me from walking. That right there. Oh, what the fuck was that sound? No! 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 I fucking hate it! I've never paused during a horror game. I've never done that. This is the first horror game that has me this scared. I've played Outlast. I laughed during Outlast. 
what I can't even think of any horror games that scare me like this one has. And dead ass, it's literally just the aesthetic. Ooh. Just saw my reflection blink. Ugh. Like, look at this fucking place, dude. The thing, you know what it is? I've seen a lot of short videos that are fucking terrifying, right? With like this VHS style to it. And every time, there's like these little fucking peaks that the little ghosty dudes do. So they're like little doors and far in the distance. I'm glad I'm doing this during the day. Oh no, I'm using my normal lights. I just realized. Well, let's get us a bit more in the mood. Hey, I have some red lights. Red scary, right? Ooh, red lights. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no. Don't let the walkers get us. Oh, no. You're shit at singing. Stop it. God damn, man. I'm gonna get fucking murdered for th Why is this guy here? That's what I would like to know. I am assuming I am the construction worker. And I've come here. Right? To reinvestigate. Unfortunately, I don't fucking understand why. I don't get it. 58 had jump scares. Like, Summer of 58, when I played that. Highly recommend you go watch that. Uh, I'm uh, biased opinion, yes, but, you know, it's a good video. It had jump scares, but the, the the thing was, it wasn't the scariest of atmospheres, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, SI is a good game, but this, for some fucking reason, this terrifies me. Oh no. There will be blood, okay. All right. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, so the thing that I find terrifying about this is graphically, it might not even be all that impressive, but that thick VHS filter that is applied and like the really smoothened camera movement with the, uh, the light being separated, it is god awful when it comes to how terrifying it is. I hate it. Now for a horror game, that's that's good. That's great. Uh, for my sanity, not so much. No. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I literally fucking jumped in my chair. <laughs> He explored all the hallways, and there were a lot of hallways. Some of them didn't have temporary lighting installed, so they were pitch black. All of a sudden, his ears began ringing. The sound and pitch got louder and louder until it was unbearable. He dropped to his knees, grabbing his ears and crying out in pain. Sorry, uh, I must admit that might have been the most unexpected jump scare I have yet to experience. Like. I thought it's gonna keep going. Fuck all story. No music needed. No big sounds like the jump scare that I have like a boo sort of sound, you know what I'm saying? I I loved it. One of my favorite horror games I think I've played. It's so short. But one thing I will say is you can't actually make games like this very long. Because they they become very repetitive. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you will need to implement different, different stuff to it instead of just the words and you walking around. Um, but holy shit, I loved it. So good. That entire time. I, like I said, I've never had to pose a horror game. This is the first time I've ever posed one. Like I needed to compose myself. Like, holy shit. <laughs> Quick little update. I have a video planned. Unfortunately, it's it, it's a very big 
video. Um, so unfortunately you won't be seeing it for a few months actually, and uh, it'll have to be split into a few parts. Mainly for file constraints, because it's, it's, it's not gonna be good for my computer storage. <laughs> but, I think you guys will like it. Uh, I'm excited to make the video. But yeah, if you enjoy this video, leave a like, sub. You'd be pretty cool for doing so, and uh, and I'd appreciate it. Uh, if you didn't enjoy the video, too bad, but uh, you know, you might as well still sub. You might like the next video, you never know. But uh, yeah, see ya.